அஸ்லாம் வரமத்துல்லாஹி வபரகாத்து டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த டிஸ்கஷன் ஆஃப் தி லாஸ்ட் சென்ட் எஸ்ஏ கொஷன் ரிலவன் ஆன்சர்ஸ் இஸ் எ இஸ் எ ஃபுல் எஸ்ஏ கொஷன் டு யூ ஸோ இட் வில் டேக் longer explanation part we will try to discuss it here this 2017 seventh essay in this essay question uh, it is necessary to be vigilant and obey road rules when using highways in it roman number 1 it is important for the drivers as well as passengers to wear seat belts in the vehicle when traveling on highways uh, explain this one scientifically the reason how to be explained scientifically this kind of questions you can see in my tut also okay Roman number 1 okay in this one when vehicle travels or moves the driver the driver and the passengers move with the same velocity they move with the same velocity upon applying brakes upon applying brakes the vehicle will stop but the driver and passengers will continue to move it can cause it can cause accidents seat belts prevent such accidents actually this is coming to you under unit number unit number 4 uh, of grade 10 newton's laws of motion the main component that explains this is newton's first law it is the correct answer newton's first law the second question answer newton's first law but in that syllabus in that scheme newton's third law was also considered as an answer 
I will not recommend Newton's third law answer. Okay, I will recommend Newton's first law answer. This explanation also speaking to you about Newton's first law. Coming to the third question, you are given a displacement time graph there. In the displacement time graph, is the displacement here, is here, time, time here, you are drawn this way and this is 27,000 and displacement is said to be in meters, time is said to be in seconds and this is mentioned to you as 100 seconds and this is zero. Okay, now using this graph, they are questioning you, what is the length of the expressway? It's a simple question to you. A question is a simple question to you. <coughs> that is the higher, the displacement, what it reaches, 27,000 meter. This is a displacement time graph now. So again straight write the displacement looking at it. If it is velocity time graph only to find the displacement, you need to find the area. But here that is not there. In the B question, calculate the maximum uh, velocity. Okay, this is indicating uh, uniform velocity. So, if you consider it as uniform velocity then wherever you find velocity will be same there's nothing called maximum velocity here there's only one velocity here is a uniform velocity one so you have to write velocity equals to displacement divided by time that is 27000 meters divided by 1000 seconds that is 27 ms minus 1 correct unit should be written for that you will get separate marks this is roman number 3 now we come to roman number 4 in heavy rainy days, the drivers are advised to maintain 15 ms minus 1 as the maximum velocity for a vehicle that is driven on the expressway mentioned in 3 above. What is the main reason for advising drivers not to drive the vehicles at a higher speed when rain exists. When rain exists, okay, uh, vehicles can easily slip due to low friction. It can cause accidents. So, to prevent accidents, that kind of recommendation is there okay in the b question what explain scientifically your answer now thing it is when you do these kind of questions you have to properly read a question b question c question all the questions you have to read after reading all the questions you have to start answering if a student doesn't do it in this one, he will write, in rainy days, friction will be low. Due to low friction, vehicle will slide easily. It can cause accidents like, full explanation, he will write it here. Then when you go to second question, they are asking, scientifically explain. Now again we have to write that one, that is a waste of time. Okay, if you think, no, no, I have written in the first one, no, 
no i don't need to write it in the second one mean no that mean you have not then you will not write answer for the second one no. so if you read the full question you will understand okay if i write this much for the first question enough in the second question they are asking the scientific explanation in that place i will give the full detail otherwise what will happen it is okay you will write everything here there's nothing to write for the b answer so what can you write here due to rain a low friction exists between the tires <coughs> and the road this is the reason low friction that is the main word they will see for low friction you can say or low frictional force you can say instead of friction <coughs> you can use the word what is it frictional force <coughs> so the vehicle will easily slide that is the second the b question now with the with that one the fourth question uh, b part is over question number c on a heavy rainy day on a heavy rainy day the motion the motion of the vehicle b which traveled from the beginning to the end of the express way mentioned in 3 above is as follows they are giving instructions to you okay it is starting from rest if it starts from rest that mean you are expected to draw a graph okay you are expected to draw a graph the graph you have to draw is a velocity time graph so it should be v here it should be t here this should be ms minus 1 this should be in seconds all those things they will see whether you are marking the x axis you are marking the y axis even this origin should be marked as zero that you they will see starting from rest mean start at zero okay it uniformly accelerate for 10 seconds and acquire a maximum velocity 15 ms minus 1 so it is traveling for 10 seconds this should be 10 seconds and the velocity acquired by it is 15 ms minus 1 thereafter it traveled in the same velocity for a certain time that time is not mentioned to you but it is traveling same velocity no constant thereafter in the last 10 seconds it uniformly decelerates and come to stop so this is okay comes to stop and this length is pointed to you 10 seconds this time is unknown okay but we know we know this we don't know how much is this time t this time we know 10 seconds 10 seconds this time also we know 10 seconds middle t is unknown if this one is t as a rectangle exist this is also going to be t understood and thereafter 
find the total time taken by vehicle B to travel in the express way. If you find the area of this figure, that will be giving you the length of the length of the express way. You know in the previous answer, the express way has a length of how many meters? 27,000 meters. That we apply here. Okay. That is, if you find the area, this is 20 plus T. T plus 20 plus T. It's a trapezium, my children. Okay. Into half. Sum of the parallel sides. Into perpendicular height. 15 equal to 27,000. Now we need to find the T value. Half bracket 2 T plus 20 into 15 equal to 27,000. Here half into 2 can be taken as a common factor out for this. T plus 10 into 15 equal to 27,000. This 2 and 2 can be cancelled. T plus 10 is equal to 27,000 divided by 15. 30. There are 9 30s in 270. Then in 15s like there are 18. 18. <clears throat> 270 divided by 15 is 18. So cancel off. So T equal to. 1800 plus 10 T equal to 1900 seconds. 1900 seconds are coming to you for the T value. T value is not the total time taken. A small mistake my, ch my children. So 1800. It should be minus. So it will be. 1790 seconds will come. 1800. Plus 10 is going to other side. No? So minus 10. So 1890 seconds will come. Now that is only this part. The T part. This 10. This 10 should be added. So total distance is. 1790 plus a 10 plus a 10 all together uh, 1810 seconds are coming. So this is your final answer 1810 uh, seconds 2790 you need to add the 20 sec uh, seconds. Right? I mistakenly sub added it. Then I corrected it. Okay. And thereafter. Thereafter. Your question it is. That is. Uh, e part. The E question. Ask you. If the mass of the vehicle is 3000 kilogram, find its momentum at the instance when it travelled in the maximum velocity. It is travelling 15 ms minus 1, the maximum velocity. So maximum velocity is, maximum velocity is 
equal to 15 ms minus 1 and the mass you are given is 3000 kilogram momentum gets the formula i have to write the formula mass multiplied by velocity 3000 kg multiplied by 15 ms minus 1 that will be 45000 kg ms minus 1 your answer the moment answer question number 5 when you go for the question number 5 when drivers are driving vehicles it is important to pay attention to the side mirrors in front of the vehicles for the prevention of the accidents. What type of curved mirrors are used as side mirrors of the vehicles? It is convex mirror. It is convex mirror. B part. How does paying attention to those mirrors contribute to prevent road accidents? So, okay, mainly the benefit of convex mirror is, okay, it can, you can see, you can see, okay, a large area, large area can be observed, large area can be observed, okay, behind the vehicle so not only the vehicle be coming behind you even further you can see okay and you will observe an upright image okay you will observe an upright image. Right? Due to these reasons, a driver can easily understand the behavior of vehicles coming behind and prevent accidents okay so this kind of an answer will be a, a better choice okay so this is the discussion of that full essay question if any doubts exist uh, you can ask me in the class or can send me the question details i will answer you Last night, I couldn't send you a paper. Inshallah, today, I will send one. Bye.